I'm watching CNN, and uh, they're talking about Roy Moore, um, and that he assaulted um, teenagers more than one. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Some of it sounds, in listening to it, legit. And he asked if who could remember from 1979. I don't know anything about Roy Moore. He's from Gadsden, Alabama, and that's near Moulton, Alabama, in Huntsville, where I was taken um, when I was kidnapped in 41. But, hey, this was okay to you Americans. Uh, Joe, Joe Kennedy was appointed ambassador to England. I put all this up over and over, so I didn't just come up with it. People have called me liar. They have called me insane. They have called me every name in the book and done everything to me. Uh, I want to say this. Part of it, I was taken to Alabama. Jeff K. flew into the embassy with his dad who had been appointed by a Jew, Roosevelt, JFK, your president back then. The Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, part of my own family, my uncle George, who's an illegal George VI, Elizabeth's father. Uh, I've even had uh, the help to my kidnapping and brought me over here and gave me the name of a twin, Peggy and Dempsey, I married the Childers. Um, I'm not going to find the, uh, I'm just going to show this where in 1939 my uncle was trying to have me kidnapped uh, because my father never married Wallace Simpson, um, King Edward VIII. He was married to my mom all along, Georgia O'Keefe, the artist's baby sister. Uh, this is Larry Flynn. He flew me out there during the campaign, and he endorsed me. In April of 84, I do know, he says, I know who was responsible for a shooting in um, Gwinnett County, Lawrenceville in 78. That's while I was doing the book. And uh, Larry McDonald's part of uh, who almost had me kill in April Fool Day of 80. I'd had a letter from the FBI, and I know I'm being redundant. Here, I've gotten a lot of flap. Nothing's ever happened to any of this. I've gone everywhere. I uh, have walked in the ice and snow. And Mr. Flint knew uh, uh, when I met him, he sent the limo after me in October of um, 83 during the campaign to replace Larry McDonald, congressman doctor. And uh, when I got there to his home, he said, you don't have to tell me anything about yourself. I know all there is to know. He said, I know they were going to send you back a vegetable. Well, they had put antifreeze in me April Fool Day of 80. This is with a letter from the FBI, June the 23rd of 79. Ongoing investigation, national security involved. I thought it was because of the book I'd written about mind control murders. Putting chips in people's heart bypasses, I'd work for doctors, and in root canals. Now then, I'm going to mention this, and if this is a little scattered, why, I hope you'll hang in there with me, since all these women are coming up, and you have given them carte blanche on here. I guess I'm British, and I'm, my father's Edward VIII, who you all lied about, and by the way, he had an addendum, which my divorce, my supposedly divorce filed in Cobb County, oddly enough, oddly enough had an addendum, an attachment. Um, my husband always knew who I am. He was told to marry me, and he did. Uh, so that's the John Childers. Now then, I will say, I don't know whether to say this or not, but I suppose if I ever, you see, I've lived with this all my life, being brought to Alabama and being raped upon being put there at age two. And then the family, when I found out about my kidnapping in 83, and I know this is jumping around, and I'll be criticized because that's all you've ever done, America. Um... I'm not going to put it up here, that part of it. I'm not. Uh, it has to do with, um, has to do with Dr. Ferris. And I understand he committed suicide 
not long after this happened. I was in the ninth grade, I guess. Oh, I think his wife died. I am leaving out what was done to me. Because it's just one in an everyday thing that was done to me. I don't know if George, the son, is alive. Uh, he was a year ahead of me in school. I'm sure he would remember me if he's alive. Now, I want to go to Richard Proctor, and I showed a letter yesterday, the envelope, really. I'm not going to get it out. He, now I like Rip Proctor, his, um, I, nothing against him. I don't know him that well. I knew he was in school. Uh, I had, uh, I was a few years ahead of him in school. And he is probate judge there in uh, Moulton. I did send him a letter along with the district attorney, and I have shown both letters. And oddly enough, they responded with the two two different letters, one from the probate, Rip Proctor. And by the way, his grandfather was the doctor that... Um, delivered the twins, Peggy and Carl Dempsey. They were born out of wedlock, and this is where I was put by JFK and the Illuminati. The one that co control your media, there's a blackout on me and any part of it that I've told about the mind control murders like Larry Flint. The guy was programmed to shoot him like, remember Governor Wallace from Alabama? Lana Dempsey, mother of the twins, was uh, with the a party up in Laurel, Maryland when he was shot. Not because he liked her, because she inserted herself in the campaign. She was with somebody else when he died. Oh, but this this man was a part of the collecting money and hostage off of him. And that was John Sparkman, the old senator from Alabama that stayed in power so long. Lionel Dempsey was with him. Oh, they were buddies. Now, what's that got to do with rape? I hope you get to hear it day by day, moment by moment. You finally come out when I have walked, and tomorrow, um, I don't know where I'll be, but 